Greetings folks. In this video I'm going to talk a little bit about stick commands that you can use in iNav to save settings. For example, if you're uh, performing an auto-tune, you need to launch the plane, fly around, turn auto-tune on, do all your auto-tune maneuvers, turn it off, land, disarm, then save the uh, auto-tune settings that you've just sort of recorded while you're up there flying. There's a whole stack of stick functions that you can use to save the settings, bring up the on-screen sort of setup menu and things like that. Save settings. So this is the basic one you need to know. Uh, with the board disarmed, sticks down and out to the side like that. And that saves the settings that Auto-Tune has set up. To bring up the full menu, you need to go throttle up to half. Remember, we're disarmed. Rudder full left and elevator full up and then we get the menu there and you can flip down through different settings using the elevator stick and select items by going left or right with the sticks so PID tuning for example if you want to check your PIDs this is probably a good thing to do too check your PIDs first before you do your auto tune then come back later on check them again to make sure you've actually saved the the new um, PIDs so let's go back Lots of different things you can change in there as well. Uh, so here we go, save and reboot. So you can do a save and reboot. That saves the settings and reboots the board. Fires up again. Something else you can play with here is the manual rate. And I like to adjust the manual expo. It's set on 70 or 0.7 which seems to be a lot to me, so I often go down to, say, 50 or something like that. Oh, there's a couple of quick gotchas too. You do need to set up a yaw input. If you're flying with a flying wing, uh, you won't have set up a yaw input, so you, you have to set up a channel with yaw on it ju just to be able to use stick commands. Uh, also, I had, previously I had a throttle cut as well as the arming on, on this switch here. Uh, because I had a throttle cut, when the board was disarmed, I couldn't bring up the menu because you need that throttle input. So I had to get rid of that throttle cut. The motor doesn't rev up until you arm the board anyway, so that is effectively a throttle cut. Now you can check on the receiver screen in iNav Configurator whether you'll be able to bring up the iNav Setup OSD on your FPV screen. Number one, your board needs to be disarmed, so you can see channel 5 is my arming switch there, that has to be minimum, disarmed. Your throttle has to be able to go from minimum to maximum. Yeah, you can see my throttle going from under 1000 to above 2000, that's good. If your throttle cut switch is on when the board is disarmed or, or a separate throttle cut switch, you'll see that throttle output won't be working so you won't be able to bring up the OSD. You have to have a yaw channel working uh, from 1000 to 2000. Of course, if you're flying a fixed wing, you probably haven't set up a yaw channel, so you have to go back and set up, actually set up a yaw channel just for bringing up the iNav OSD. You won't use it for flying, but you need it for the OSD. Your pitch channel has to go from 1000 to 2000, and your roll channel has to go from 1000 to 2000. If you have all of them working, then there's no reason why you can't bring up your iNav OSD. Actually, the first one to uh, save settings without opening up the OSD is to go throttle uh, 1000, your 1000, pitch 1000, and roll 2000. So that's the sticks down and out to the side. Now to open up the OSD, you need to go throttle roughly middle, 1500-ish, your 1000, and pitch to 2000. And that should bring it up. So connect up your board, check that your outputs are actually working, check that you actually have a yaw channel, check that you don't have a throttle cut on, check that your board is disarmed, then you should be right.